if until now human history was covering the last 5,000 years, by studying rock art, we may have a human history covering the last 50,000 years. Two basic questions always come up. How old is it? Uh, what, what, what does it mean? A lot of the rock art is ceremonial and ritual. There's a mystery to it, combined with a kind of beauty. People pecking these images on these rocks, sometimes in extremely remote places. I've come to see that there are far more complex things going on in the rock art. It's not just anyone did it. They're special places, and as if they're saying something very important. Here you see all these stones tell a story. They are messages. They say something. When you first time you come to a place like this, it's like entering into a huge library. The rock art contains a lot of religious, symbolic, cultic content. Ibexes are the most common items in rock art, not only in the Negev, but also in Sinai, in Southern Jordan, in Saudi Arabia, in Mongolia. The Ibex here is the most numerous image type throughout all periods, even California. So there is a story here. Bighorn sheep were a venerated animal. You see it all over the Great Basin, all over the Desert West. Armiyan Sagnigari Hai Iran, Bishtarin Naqsh Tekrari, Naqsh Hai Buzi Kuyi Ya Ibex Hasta. In this area of uh, the Western Himalayas, the Ibex tends to dominate. It, it blows your mind that there should be such a commonality. It is often possible that uh, the meaning is the same everywhere. So what does it mean? Now what does it mean? Who knows? There are just so many questions about these things. We're trying to look through a very dark window along a long corridor to a deep past. But that past is us. We are trying to learn something about ourselves. A lot of this we're never going to know. What we want to do now is to understand, to read, to decipher the meaning of rock art. To decipher the culture. You see clues. I don't have any facts, but I have clues. Looking for patterns. Looking at many different panels and seeing parallels between one panel and another in different places. There are some things in common to most of the ibexes. It's clear that it's not random. If we approach it from a whole lot of angles, then we might have some hope. Everything is connected to everything. Eventually, I was able to decipher all these methods.